FNBM podcast aims to provide valuable insights and information to Nigerians on mortgage industry as well as how accessible the mortgage loan is for Nigerians. So today we will be answering the frequently asked questions by Nigerians, of course, exclusive interviews and FNBN news this week. So let's quickly go on a commercial break and when we come back with that variety. The latest couple in town. Good day, sir. How are you? Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, drinks? No, we're, we're fine, sir. How was the moon experience? It was quite an experience. Mm. How about house? We are renting at the moment, but we intend to save enough to own our own house, right? Why not avoid all those Shylock landlords and own a house up front? You know, the average income and cost of building houses today in Nigeria, mortgage is the best option. No sweat. I tell you what. That was how I got my first house, and I've never regretted it. To make good homes, and by implication, a good society, an individual is expected to have an abode from which to take off and return at the end of each day. At the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, everyone deserves a home. Come join us at FMBN, and let's shelter Nigeria together. All right, welcome back to FMBM Podcast, proudly sponsored by the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria here on 7 FM TV. So now the FAQ, which is the frequently asked questions by Nigerians. Nigerians are asking, why do I really have to get up to 60 years of age before I get my NHF refund? Here's the response. <music> The NHF Act states that NHF contributions can only be refunded to a contributor that has attained 60 years of age or has put in 35 years in the service. Okay, a lot has been happening within the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria in terms of housing construction. The products of the banks of takers' accessibility to the houses constructed, the efforts of developers, ETC, is an exclusive session. The group head marketing group of the bank sheds light on the activities of the bank in their effort to make housing more reliable for Nigerians. So let's join the conversation with 7FM TV correspondent Austin Beecher Sinem. My name is Uche Hendrika. I'm the group head direct marketing um, group of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Um, the direct marketing group is saddled with the responsibility of uh, marketing the um, real estate assets of the bank, but largely um, assets that are classified as um, non-performing loans, right? The group has the responsibility to ensure the sale of these houses um, and drive revenue for the bank. Okay, so when you say non-assets of the bank, what do you mean by that? Um, I said real estate assets. Okay, real estate said, yeah, asset of the bank. Yes, okay. but largely assets that have not been, uh, these assets have been classified as non-performing, okay. right? Uh, because, you know, what we do as a financial, as a mortgage institution is to provide mortgage credit to um, mortgage house, right? But for you to do mortgage, you have to first of all look at the assets, you know, you are creating mortgages on. So, um, over time, these assets are, you know, they are, like I said, they are real estate assets. Um, for, first, you have to get ready, you have to get the assets available um, in such a manner that optakers can be able to uptake them. But due to, you know, um, the challenges of raising, creating these assets, some of them dragged unnecessarily. And once it dragged on this really, of course, when you have a, a project you are doing, once you begin to exceed the time duration for the project, the tendency is that um, the loan will start drifting, especially when loan is committed to such projects, to start drifting to um, what you may call non-performing loans. So that is the 
um, portfolio we have as a bank, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so we are trying to get these um, assets, you know, uh, marketed in order for us to be able to get drive revenue from the marketing of such assets and get the bank, you know, to recoup back its investments in, you know, in such real estate projects. Okay, permit me to take you back a bit. When you say non-performing assets, yeah. because I'm asking for the ordinary Nigerian, I, I want you to break it down a bit. Non-performing asset, what, what do you mean by that? Okay, mm. now real estate is a kind of asset, okay. right? And for you to be able to produce those assets, there would have been some, you know, uh, monetary commitment to produce such assets. And the whole idea is that if it's an investment, when you put in XYZ amount of money, right, after some time you're made to recoup back that money and get um, um, profit on top of it or get what you may call interest on top of it. Mm. So if these assets are not, they are meant to be available at a certain point of time. Okay. But if they exceed that point of time, they are not available for off-takers to off-take. Mm -hmm. And they come, come in at, you know, at a later time, the chances are that, um, you know, they would have exceeded the duration you are meant to deliver those assets. Mm -hmm. Or even when they are there, right, for one or two bottlenecks, mm -hmm. you are un unable to sell off you know, what I mean by sell off, allow mortgages to take advantage of those assets. And the more they keep on dragging, the more they keep on um, turning to not performing. Yeah. Because monies are tied down, capital is tied down. The whole idea is that that capital that is deployed to produce those assets, when you sell them off to potential home um, owners, now they will pay you back and pay you with interest on top of that. Okay. So when you do that, you can, if it happens the way it should, it was planned or is planned, it becomes a performing loan. Mm -hmm. Now, the off-takers have off-taken okay. and they are making their repayments as a wind chill. That is a performing loan. So in that way, the bank is achieving exactly its um, objective. Yeah. So when it is not, um, when those deadlines are not being met, when they are defaults, Obviously, those assets will begin to manifest into what you call non-performing uh, non loans. Yeah. Okay, let's just lay some foundation. Um, yeah. When was this group created? Um, the group was actually created. It wasn't initially. It wasn't created as a group. Okay. It was created sometime 2021, 22, right? It was was I wasn't a pioneer stuff of the okay. you know uh, w then when it was created it was created as a unit okay so it was around 2021 when it was created um after some time you know um just that was in 2022 mm. when the new leadership came in um in april same 2022 after some time when the looked at the existing structures and all that, you know, they realized the magnitude of, you know, the non-performing loan the bank has. Mm -hmm. And uh, in line with the central bank, uh, you know, regulation, felt like the units, as it were, should be upgraded to a group. Mm -hmm. So the group actually came into existence in sometime August 2022. But before then, it was existing as a unit. Okay. Before it was now... Okay. Um, so, so um, somebody might be tempted to ask, if I let me put that to you, because whatever the bank do, I should also stand to benefit from it as a Absolutely. Nigerian. Um, the marketing unit or group in every organization is pivot, I mean, pivotal to the growth of that organization. So what led to the creation of the group? Because 2022, that means all the years since 1992 when the market started, the marketing group has not been in existence. So what led to the uh, creation of the group, I mean, after all these years? So just like I said, um, the business of the bank is to finance mortgages. Okay. And you need to understand the how this happens, right? Right from, because if you don't have stock of real estate assets, it becomes difficult to deal with mortgages. 
So over time, the bank was funding, you know, mortgages at the same time funding housing construction through the developers' engagement and all that. And the whole idea is that the developers should help in shutting out these real estate assets mm -hmm. that mortgagors can take advantage of. Yeah. So why these things we are going on, you know, um, the bank was, you know, riding with what you may call pri what you call primary mortgage banks. I mean, these are, you know, institutions doing financial transactions or financial businesses mm -hmm. that are under the regulation of Central Bank. So, and going by the National Housing Fund Act, which is very, the, the real um, scheme that the bank is leveraging on to do this, you know, uh, mortgage intervention. Now, the act establishing National Housing Fund recognizes the place of primary mortgage banks in the transaction equation of the, 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 the mortgage uh, funding and all that. So, um, and their own role is to ensure that off-takers take advantage of these real estate assets. Mm -hmm. So, to that extent, the issue of marketing of these real estate assets, I mean, funded by the bank, was now rested on the primary mortgage banks. And you need to recognize the fact that the primary mortgage banks, they are entities established by, you know, um, by business incorporation and all that. So their business oriented, um, oriented yeah, um, they are private sector led organizations or financial institutions. Now, but they are not directly under the control of Federal Mortgage Bank. They are under the relationship engagement with Federal Mortgage Bank on the issue of the National Housing Fund, you know, in mm. scheme, which will provide, will use as <clears throat> as a funding mechanism to provide mortgage interventions to off-takers. Mm -hmm. So over time, they were involved in this, right? But because of the way the tra you know the transaction is you know is done, we begin to see that their impact is not as as it should be. You know, the expectations is that once these assets you know, we begin to get to near completion in terms of uh, production. They should have activated their marketing, you know, um, you know, efforts. Mm. But over time, they were, this wasn't the case, right? And that led to, you know, defaults and all that, right? That actually got us to the space where we find ourselves in terms of non-performing loans couple with so many other factors, right, which we may or may not be able to look at in this section. So um, it became unsustainable. Mm. And the regulators, like I said, Central Bank was on the bank that we need to do something. Mm -hmm. Because each time they, they come on a regulatory assignment, they keep on pointing out to the fact that we have this huge non performing loss. But the bank will keep on, you know, with the posture that these assets are there. They're not like, uh, you know, um, current assets. They are not, these are non current assets. But just that they've not been offtaken, right? And um, the bank kept on making this argument. At some point, the regulator said, no, we cannot continue to, continue you know, receive this argument. Something has to be done. Right, so that was what actually led to this um, the creation of this group to ensure that you know we get these assets marketed as quickly as possible, possible. but commencing mm -hmm. with the uh, the ones that have been classified as non performing within the non performing portfolio. Right, there's a further reclassification on what is called asset hate for sale. Mm -hmm. Asset hate for sale is more like a financial re engineering, mm -hmm. you know, that give the bank the lead way to somehow manage the non-performing uh, load portfolio the bank is currently carrying. And with that kind of restructuring of the non-performing loans, mm. I mean, what that means, means is that it's somehow it has straightened our books a little bit in such a manner that, because it's not just enough saying these assets have been moved to asset aid for sale, it has to equally be matched with actions, right? So the direct marketing group is now saddled with that action to ensure that not just only trying to restructure the financial books of the bank, mm. but we have to get into the real work to ensure that these assets are properly you know, brought to the hands of you know, off-takers. 
All right, well done, Beatrice, Austin, Sinam, and of course, Group Head Marketing, Mr. Uche in Hegerica. Let's quickly go on a short break, and when we come back, FMBN News this week. <music> All right, welcome back to FNBM Podcast, and this program is proudly sponsored by the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. So right now, let's give you the FNBM news this week. And that's the much we have for you on this week's edition. Do well to join us next week for another interesting edition of the program. And of course, our social media handles are displayed on your screen at Instagram 7TV underscore NIG, Twitter 7TV underscore NIG, Facebook 7TV Nigeria, YouTube 7FM hyphen TV. You can also visit our website at www.7media.ng and do well to visit www.fmbn.gov.ng for more information. Till I come your way next week, my name is Patience Okai, your host. Stay blessed. Bye.